Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and today we'll be reviewing the 1980s GoBot Renegade Tank. But before we get on to looking at the figure itself, we're going to talk about the figure's history. As you know, the Renegade GoBots were a group of GoBots that wanted to conquer the universe like Megatron and crush the Guardians. But other than that, that's pretty much all I know about the GoBots. Tank is the heavy weapons specialist of the Renegades. And I don't have any other GoBots except for the Legacy Philosotron 500 Crasher, which is close enough to this scale. Once it reaches a minute, we're going to get on to the review, starting now. We do got this Insecticon-like bot in here as well. Here is Tank in his vehicle mode. It is missing quite a few parts. I got this from the toy show, and I'm definitely glad I own this. Probably wondering, does this thing roll for 1980s? And yes, it does. But yeah, look at the detail on that vehicle mode. It's a shame I don't have the parts that go with it. But otherwise, it's not broken or anything. So definitely a worthwhile piece. But yeah, transform it is very simple. We flip out the legs like so. And there we have Tank in his robot mode. Which looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get focus on that head sculpt. Looking very tanky. And the arms are like really cool. So you can go punch, punch, punch. Double punch. Now for comparison. Here we got 1980's GoBot tank next to Legacy Philosotron 500 Crasher. And yeah, she is close enough to the GoBots Crasher that I had to do this comparison. Other than that, a good-looking toy. Arms can do a full 360. Legs can go that far. No bending backwards. This is due to the transformation, so Tank can give you a kick in the back if you wanted him to. And the silver treads are really well sculpted, I'll say that for sure. And the stickers are in pretty good shape. Other than that, a good-looking figure. But now we're going to look at this Insecticon-like figure. It is a bug of sorts, and its arms are missing quite a few arms here. But otherwise, it's a good-looking figure I've been hesitant on. Get some blasting guns, and go like, pew, pew, bang, bang. And the bug head's pretty cool. To transform this is very simple. I've gotten used to it after a while. We're going to pull down the legs, flip out these to form his heels. Second verse, just like the first, pull it down, flip out the heels, and split the wings. And we can put these big guns on the back like so to make it seem like he's ready to go blast something. The way it looks, it's like a GoBot, but at the same time, it's not, because it's not made of metal. But we can do some comparisons with this bug bot. So yeah, definitely a good looking robot, even knowing it's pretty weird. But you can have this flip down and his head does move a little bit. It feels like a cheap knockoff Insecticon by the way it feels. Otherwise, a good-looking figure, if I do say so myself. But now, for comparisons, here we got the 1980s GoBot tank next to this Insecticon-like figure. And Legacy Philosotron 500 Crasher. Are these figures worth the money to pick up? Yes, they are a lot of fun, and I'm definitely going to have to hunt down some more 1980s GoBots, because I'm going to have to start a shelf for my own GoBots collection. 
And this is my very first GoBot here on the channel. Well, next to Crasher being a Decepticon GoBot, but still pretty cool. I actually got some GoBots here. I'm definitely going to track down some more and make this collection pop. If you like this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.